Okay, now since we already know how to create a new page, okay, so right now we got 36 by 48 inches poster size uh, uh, layout here. Okay, you can always go to inches, uh, I mean to say for now you wanted uh, centimeters, you just go to this drop down menu here, and if you want to go to millimeters, and it automatically changed the or it converts it to millimeters. Okay, so if you want to go to feet, same thing. And if you want to go to centimeters, same thing. Now let's just go back to inches. Okay, now right now I'm I'm ready to uh, create a poster. Now first of all, I have to check. Uh, I just want to show you where the you know the uh, where to get the tools, or I'll explain more about the interface here. Okay. So in your right left side here, you got all the tools. Now, if you're not really sure about what uh, icon or what tool is it, you just mouse over to a tool, and after two seconds, it shows up. Like uh, there's a description that will be shown. Like for example, here it says pick tool, shape tool, crop tool, zoom, and so forth. Now, in your right side here, you can see those are color swatches. So those are the color fields. So for example, I create a square here, then I go to this side, then I can change the color by just clicking on to the, uh, the color swatch box. Okay. Now, uh, this, this tools here and these color swatches here, uh, I can make that floating uh, toolbars. Like for example, here I just click on this portion of the, of the tools. No and then I can just click and drag it inside my area so if you notice this the tools here disappears and this one is a floating box now what I also can do is this color swatches here I can bring it down so just I click and drag it down or I can make it floating or I can just move it down over to this side now I have my my color swatches here and my toolbars here and I can also drag this to the right side to make all the tools over here okay but I won't do that I'm more comfortable on the default one so I'll put it back again and then put this back to okay now those are the tools now you can also in the top portion here you got the menu okay so the menu here you got file go save save as import and everything then edit view layout arrange so you can get all the options in here too okay. now here in the property bar you can see it's a custom size paper uh, 36 by 48 is the size of my page and here since it's ported, I can easily make it landscape by clicking on this uh, icon here. So that's landscape, portrait, landscape. I'll just switch it to portrait. Now this one is in inches. I already talked about that. And then this one, what is this um, nudge offset? 0.1 inch. Nudge off offset means to say if I create a box, right? Click my, s uh, my pick tool. And then in your keyboard, you have those arrow keys. So if I if I m click on my right arrow, it will move, right? Now you're looking at it's moving. Now if I change, click outside, and if I change this one to, say for example, it will move every one inch. So click on the box and move your, uh, you know, your arrow keys. So now it's moving one inch. Every one inch, I'll move it up, moving it up one inch. So you can always change this one. The default is 0 0.01, I think, but you can always change this to any any measurement. Okay, let's just delete this one. Okay, now I won't really talk about this yet. Uh, this is the duplicate distance. But we're gonna show that in the other videos. It's like more on when you duplicate one thing and then you move it. So how many, what's the measurement? 
anyway so these are the tools here pick tool and everything so what else do we need here okay here you got page one okay, if I want to make multiple pages I'll just click on this icon here click I got page two page three page four okay you really won't see it because it's over here but you can see I've got four pages here if you want to go back to the first page you just click on this one it goes to the first page now if you decide just to make it one page you can always delete it by right mouse click and click on delete page right mouse click delete page right mouse click delete page okay, so that's the thing okay what else do I need to explain here okay these are the rulers here okay right now zero goes to this side here okay which is that I'm in 36 inch zero here and 48 so these are our inches and every time I change my my um, my units here this one changes okay let's go back to inches here it's pretty useful too now if you don't want to see the rulers it's really easy just click on view and just remove rulers that's it but I just prefer having the rulers okay so I think that's that's it for now I'll just explain more of this one like these are the coordinates and then here are the other options that you that you want to do so you every time you click here you know it always says here the description here like right now it says double click tool creates page frame blah 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 so that's the that's one of the properties and if you make a rectangle here so for example make it red here and this part here you can see I, there's a red box and a black box here just watch means to say that I have a red fill in here and I have a black hairline a black hairline is the outline okay so the top swatch is the fill and then the bottom swatch is the color outline okay I think that's all for this tutorial